Y'all see that, right? This is called a Medalla Tape Tree. It says positive vibes on it. And this is what I, this is, this is a reality that I manifest every single day when I wake up. Nobody can come in my crib or in my space and bring that negative, toxic energy my way, bro. Because I'm going to block it out no matter what. I don't stand for no negativity. I don't stand for no hate. I don't stand for nobody's toxic energy whatsoever. If you come my way with that type of vibration or energy of sorts, I'm blocking you out of my life. I'm cutting you off, period. No questions asked. Because I don't got time to dumb myself down to people's level and to share my energy with them. I could be on. I could be at the highest vib, the, the the highest vibration. I can be the most positive person. I, I I walk into a room full of negative energy. What you think is going to happen to my energy? My energy is going to go down because the room, the atmosphere that I'm taking in, is attacking my energy. All these people's energy is coming after mine. That's why I got to protect myself from all these energy energy vam- vampires out here. All these demons. I got to protect my energy 24-7. It's a constant, everyday battle that I have to go through. Whether it's work, whether it's out in the street, the store, anywhere, bro. That's why you got to have alone time. That's why you got to have that self-reflection. You got to enjoy your own company. Because nobody can make you feel bad about yourself If there's nobody in the room with you, bro, the only person that can make you feel worse about yourself is you. If you choose to have that type of mindset, if you choose to be afraid to stand out, afraid to be yourself, scared, you're you're in fear all the time because of what you're watching on the news, which all these things that you're hearing about, all these distractions that are being shoved in, in your face, all these things that the government is doing behind your back. You're not even knowing it. They want to keep you stuck in your lower state of mind every single day. So you never have to grow. They keep they want to keep you boxed in. So you never progress to the next level. They put all these limits around you. They limit you. They mess with your food. They tell you to watch the news. And then they promote fear in front of your face. And then you're looking you're looking behind your back every five minutes. Like, who's behind me? You know? Like, what, what, what's going to happen to me? That is your mindset. That is your thought process coming into play. Because what you think, bro... You manifest your own reality, no matter what, positive or negative. If you manifest the coronavirus, you wear this mask every single day. You walk around like like you're going to catch the virus. You you walk around thinking you're going to die. What you think is going to happen? Nine times out of ten, the definitive outcome is you will die. You will catch something. It may not even be a a virus. But here's the thing, bro. People get sick every single day. You know why people you know why people get sick every day? It's because we don't take care of ourselves. This whole government, this whole media, they want to talk about the coronavirus, but they don't everybody's, you know, wilding and bugging out about some virus, but nobody is willing to bug out And make a big deal about our health. Obesity. The main reason why people get sick and get these diseases. They get these heart attacks, seizures. Because they don't take care of themselves. What they put in in their body. Is not good for them. You can't walk around here scared every time something is announced on Fox News or, or CNN. Do me a favor and stop watching the damn news. You don't need to watch 
the government in action. They're going to do their thing. They're going to run this country to shit, into a shithole. Worse than it has already been the past decade, the past century, whatever. Viruses have has been, the, the coronavirus has probably been around for years, bro. This shit's in your fucking beer. This shit's probably in your fucking Lysol and your bleach. It can be anywhere, bro. You never know what they're trying to, to pull on you because sometimes they like to pull the wool over your eyes. But you got to stay, you got to stay on your feet, bro. You got to stay on your fucking toes and not fall into a pit of, of fear. The first thing they do in 2020 is mention World War III. Like, like some big war is going to fucking happen. And then all of a sudden they put that to the back burner. Kobe Bryant dies. He passes away due to a helicopter crash. They already had his death planned out. I mean, there was a cartoon I saw years ago of him in a, air, in a, in a helicopter crash which he died, he had all his trophies in his hands, and, you know, he said, these are my trophies, I'm keeping them. And then he, he died. It was a cartoon. They showed, it, this was shown, like, years prior to him actually dying. It just happened to be a helicopter crash. It's not a coincidence. It's not a coincidence. The, the things you see out in this world that are going on, they're not a coincidence. Certain things that just come into play. I'm telling y'all, I got to really question what you see out here and really analyze things from a, a an expanded perspective, a different mindset. You can't be tricked into thinking one thing and going with that and thinking that's the right thing to think. That's the, the right opinion. That's the only fact when there's multiple truths out in this world that have yet to be discovered. The only truth that matters is you need to master your vessel. That's your truth. Your truth is mastering yourself, loving yourself, become the best version of yourself before, before you even spread anything positive to the whole the whole world. You gotta get right from within. You gotta get right from from, from within, man, for real. Look at this shit. Nobody can come at me with no negative energy, bro. Nobody. When I'm in my space, I'm in my, my energy field, nobody's allowed in it if they got that negative energy going on. Y'all got to start, y'all got to start separating yourself from the news, from what the government is putting out here. We know the government is trying to fuck with us. We know the government is trying to manipulate us. Like they have been for the past two, three, four decades. They have, they have manipulated our ancestors, our grandparents, our aunts, uncles, mom, daddy, whatever. But are you going to let them manipulate you? Are you, are you going to let them strike fear into your soul? Are you going to let them strike fear into your kids? I would hope not. I would hope not. Because ever since I've been on semen retention, I look at things from an expanded perspective. I had to step out of the forest to see the trees. I had to really look at things from a different mindset and really analyze things. And seek out truth. I mean, what I, I'm going to be honest, bro. I don't really know much about this coronavirus. I don't. I don't know shit about it. I mean, the only thing I know about it is that, I mean, this shit could have been tested in the laboratories for all we know. How, how is it that everybody else is supposedly getting affected by this virus? And the people that are so-called in charge of this matrix, the government, 
President Trump, who is the, the poster child of this matrix, he's going along with, with everything that they want him to, to, to go along with. These are just things that are being promoted so that you can be manipulated into conforming to what the government wants you to conform with. See, they want you to depend on the government. They want you to depend on Donald Trump, your president, your, your so-called leader. The truth of the matter is, bro, you ain't got no fucking leader in life. You are your own fucking leader. Remember that shit. You ain't got no leader in life. You are your own leader. You are your own one-man army. For you women, one woman army. You are your own king, your own queen. Nobody can direct you into any fucking direction but you. You direct your own path. You choose your own path. You make your own decisions every single day. Nobody guides you. Nobody leads you into nothing. Nobody tells you what you can stand for. Nobody can tell, nobody, nobody can tell you what you should believe in. Nobody should tell you how you should fucking conform. Nobody should tell you what your mindset should be. Nobody should tell you you should be afraid of this. You should be afraid of some virus going on. You should be afraid of World War III is going to happen. You should be afraid of dying. Man, fuck all that shit. I'm afraid of dying unfulfilled. Straight up. I'm not afraid of dying. And neither, and neither should you if you're watching this video. My message is for y'all to manifest your reality, but do it in a positive way. Where things from your, your inner world, and they start to clearly reflect your outer world. Because the more you envision something positive, like money, the more you, you envision having a better physique, overall better health, the more that stuff is going to come to fruition because the more you thought about it, the more it's going to happen. You manifest anything in this world, but you manifest death, you manifest a virus striking your ass, guess what? Something is going to strike your ass. Something is going to make you sick. It's all about your thought process. It's all about your mindset. It's all about what you tell yourself every single day. It affects the outcome of your life. Remember that. So, block out all the fucking negativity in your life. If you need to, shut off, shut off social media. Turn off social media. Block it out for maybe a week or two. Take a break from it. Take a break from, the, uh, from your friends. Start being by yourself more often. Because I'll tell you right now, I'm a master at being alone. I'm at a point in my life, bro, I don't care if I'm alone. I don't give a fuck. I'm perfectly, I'm perfectly fine with just being alone by myself in my own skin, in my own space. Straight up, in my own energy field. Because nobody can get in it. Nobody can make me feel any type of way no more about myself. Because I know myself like a book. I know myself in and out, bro. And you should know yourself more than anybody should ever fucking know you. You should know the ins the ins and outs of your personality, the way you're structured, the way you you're wired. The minute somebody dictates, the minute somebody knows you too well, the minute somebody gets to tell you, "I know you better than you know yourself." That, that means you need to start reevaluating your life. You need to start really thinking about what you're doing wrong and what you need to start doing more often. And start really connecting from within. I'll tell you all this all the time. Y'all need to do the work. I'm doing the work every single day. I'm not letting no news. I'm not letting... The government, I'm not letting none of this shit affect me, bro. If, if it's not in my realm, if it's not in my circle, if it's not affecting my family, then I don't need to, if it's not affecting me, I don't got to worry about it. 
I don't. I'm perfectly I'm perfectly fine. I'm not sick. You know, every day I try I, I try to look at other things to better myself and to take better care of myself of my overall health every single day. I look for better ways to improve myself. I don't got time. I do not got the time to be worried about some fucking coronavirus. All I'm telling you, bro, keep washing your hands every single, like 10 times a day. Wash your hands constantly. Drink more water. Hydrate yourself. Drink more fluids. Stay away from sick people. Stay away from fatty food. Stay away from junk food. Start eating more fruits and vegetables to nourish your, your cells, repl- replenish your cells. Nourish your whole body and get some more sun. Bro, spring is coming. Nicer weather is on the horizon. We're going beautiful, to get beautiful weather every single day, bro. There's no reason why you should be in the fucking house, sit on the couch and doing nothing. You should be going outside, getting in that nature. Flowers blossoming. Man, the trees are greener. Birds are chirping. Sun's brighter than ever. Water sparkling. Getting that fucking glow every single day. Y'all know what it is, man. Start manifesting your reality the right way. Start manifesting positivity into your life, man. Positive vibes all the way through. Y'all know what it is, bro. This is the Enlightening Black Sheep. I'm out. Y'all have a great night. Peace.